Hi guys, welcome to today's Tactical Pad tutorial. We're going to be looking at how to create a session and an animation on Tactical Pad. We're going to be looking at how to create an animation on Tactical Pad, but before we get into today's video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe, and for more content, click on the link above. Okay, so looking at our tutorial for this week. So first off, what we're gonna be doing, we're going to be looking at how to set up our field. So we're gonna go for a basic, um, just taking everything out. So we're just gonna go for a plain, plain pitch, so then we can add anything we want onto the pitch, because sometimes with the designs, if we do a four box here, it's a bit too big if you're working with a certain type of players. If you've got a lot of players, then you can use that. Um, but obviously, when you're looking to just design your own size of your session, um, you can use the plain setup of the pitch, with nothing on it, which is perfect. You can either do it in a, then you can either do it facing downwards or more of like a sloped look. So as we see here, I prefer this one because it looks better on the animations. Um, so first off, looking at teams. So when we go into our team settings, obviously you can see we've only got two teams. So you might be wondering, how do we get three teams? How do we get four teams? It's quite simple, really. There's a few different um, aspects to do it. But the first part is to use a different appearance for the goalkeeper. So if you click on this button here, you can then select your appearance for your goalkeeper. So for this team, I'm going to go with yellow. And we're just going to do like a black, um, black outside. And then the style, the first style makes it a plain appearance, no stripes or anything across. And then for the other team, we're going to go green. We'll make that uh, white. Same thing with the style with them. And then we press OK. OK, so each team has three goalkeepers stored in their team squad. In order to make more goalkeepers, we go back into team settings again, team squad, and then you just change the position of the player. So if we go in position of the player and we do goalkeeper. So if you want five um, yellows, just change two players, press OK, OK again, we go back in and you can then drag the players onto the pitch. And there's your five, um, there's your five players. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up if you want to get rid of the players as well, all you have to do is just click, slide down on the player you want to slide off. Instead of having to, to drag them all over and take them off the pitch, just slide it off. We're going to set up a passing, uh, a possession, little switch and play uh, drill. So we're going to go to tools. First thing we're going to do is change the color um, of the paint to white. The buttons here show uh, are how thick the lines are going to be. I prefer to either use the, the smallest um, the smallest line for lines in the zones and then use the medium for the lines on the outside. So the main area is covered by the, uh, the bigger line and then the smaller lines in the middle um, are by the smallest tip that we can use. Um, so what we're going to do, so we've got our shapes here, so we've got our circle or our square, so we're going to use our square. If you want to fill a certain area, so if you're working at doing corner zones, you just press the little shaded area at the bottom. So if you wanted to make four small zones like this, then they can come up like that. To remove ink off the board, we just press the rubber and we tap on it. If you want to remove all ink at one time, then you press the one underneath and it will come up asking you if you want to remove it all because it might be a mistake. We want to press yes. So for this area, the, for this part of it, of the session, we're not looking to add in uh, those type of zones. What we're going to do, we're going to make one area and then split it into three. What I tend to use is look how many lines there are on the field and then judge your uh, how you're going to split the zones up by that. So what we're going to do, we're going to do nine lines across, and then we're going to split it into threes. Let's see how that works. So we're going to start here. Well, it's not the best start, but that's why we've got the rubber for. Okay, that's better. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's perfect. Then what we're going to do, we're going to switch to just a normal line, go to our smallest point here, and then we're going to look to drag the lines down, drag the lines down again. Okay, perfect. So now we've got our three different zones. If you want to make a line which um, is separated all the way through, 
all you do is click this button here, drag the line across, and then once you've stopped, it'll bring you in the line like that, which is perfect. So what we'll do is we'll make our zones like that. This is a bit more realistic to what we'd be using. You wouldn't have, it's just so you've got like a certain amount of cones. So we're gonna drag that down. Okay. Make that a little bit straighter. Okay, here we go. Right, so there's our setup for the session. Now we're gonna put our teams in. So we'll do three groups of four. So we'll have, we'll bring four reds in. Then we get our four yellows. Like this. And then we'll get our four blues. Okay. So now we're gonna to look to add items. So we're gonna to add to look at football and we're gonna to add to look where our coach will be positioned as well. So we just click on items. If you drag a football into here, I always find that the ball is a bit too big. Um, so you would double click on there and we just press the, da um, the negative button to take it down. I take it down by two. If you want to add more footballs in at the same size, you just press the duplicate button. So we're gonna do one, two, three, which means we'll have four footballs. So we just pull them across like this. Okay, then we've got four. And then we bring the coach in. Okay, so then we're gonna bring the coach into here. Perfect, like that. So then the coach can start with the play with the ball. Right, and then if you wanna make it an animation, we just click on animation. It will come up saying this is a static board. Do you wish to convert it into an animation board? We click yes, which is perfect for us. Then we go back to edit, and then we, we change what we want. Oh, there's one of the players gone. One of the red players has gone missing there. Okay, so we bring a fourth red player in. Also on team settings, when you go into appearance, first off it will start, it will give you options to do all different things. If you just want a plain player with no number or anything on, let me click this one here. If you can want to use tactical pad for lineups and everything, then you can change it different. You can have your style in terms of what kit your, your team wears, and then same with the appearance as well. There's loads of different options. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here is we're going to have the team in the middle is going to be defending. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pass the ball into one of the end teams. They're gonna make five passes and then they're gonna to look to switch the play. So one defender will go in at a time. Once the ball switch play, the next defender will go in. When they win the ball or if the ball goes out, then the team who lost the ball will then go into the middle. So let's go to tools, let's go to edit. So first off, we're gonna do a pass from the ball into a player. Right, see, that always happens. Let's put that back into white first. Don't have to go white as I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna pass in. When that comes up like that, that means either you can play like a ball in the air or a ball on the floor. So we're gonna be doing a ball on the floor. Okay, and then we're gonna click on animation again and go to frame two. Okay, so now on frame two, the ball has reached there. So the rule of this game is the opposition can't go into the, into the, in, to go into defend until the opposite, until the attacking team here in possession has took a touch. So this player's now took his touch. So we're gonna have one defender going in, and we're gonna say it's this player here. So now we're going to be looking to move players around. So this player's now got the ball. Can we move to create a bit of space? So we're gonna say this player's took a touch. So a small touch, and the player can move with the ball as well. So you need to click on the player. Okay, so now we're gonna go into frame three, see how that looks. Okay, so if you're not happy with how things look, so I'm gonna say this player here is, it's too close. So I'm gonna say, right, I didn't want that player to be there. We've done his initial movement. We're just gonna, so on the animation area, because it's in the same frame, we can move them about, which changes the original movement, what we've done with the arrow. When it's on edit, it will do a separate movement. So now the ball's in here, we're gonna to look to make a pass. So I'm just gonna play a nice short pass and we can change where our players go. So now the defender's gonna make their way to, Going to gradually make their way across. We're going to have players moving into space. Okay, and we're going to go into frame four. We're going to do a first time pass again because we're looking to play the ball nice and quickly. We're going to see what people's movement is going to be like. Okay. There's our frame again. So I'm quite happy with the position here. We're just going to move players about again. We're gonna play our next pass. So sometimes it might not lock onto the ball. So there it didn't lock onto the ball. You know when it locks onto the ball, when the, um, the line is obviously broken up. So let's do that again. Okay, now we've got a perfect. 
Okay, so we've got the defender chasing after it. You can move the players around in here as well to where the ball is um, very easily as well. The players in the other zone, not really too bothered about until the ball's going to travel into them. Okay, so now we're going to our next animation again. So this time we're going to take a little touch. So you can only use one ball movement each frame, so make sure that you use it wisely. So now we're going to have this player pressing here. We're going to have options here, options here. I'm going to bring a player option here. Move into our next animation. Okay, then we're going to play the ball in here. And then we're going to play our final pass. So now we could maybe look to move these players, bring them into play, because they're going to try and intercept the ball. I'm going to pass into here like that. Get some movement again. Okay, frame nine. And then this player is going to take a little touch out of here, making then the opposite, the players who are going to receive the ball move to receive it. Okay, this opposition is going to keep moving across. The defender is going to keep going. Oh, that's a click on there. And then we're going to put, oh, so I didn't move the player there. So all I'd have to do is just go back to frame nine and just put the, um, put my player's movement in with it. If, the, if you're not happy where the player's moved in relation to the ball, so I want the ball to be a little bit over here. So I've just moved it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't change because it's on the animation page. So it's on the frame, what we've just done. And then we're going to play our pass over to the other side like that. Okay, so there's just a quick animation of how to use it. And then we're looking to save it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to menu. We're going to go to share. And then it's obviously going to be a, vid a video. But obviously if you're doing a team lineup, it can be an image. So we're going to press video here. And this is when it'll bring it more up to speed. So you can see how, how well it's going to look. And then you can either save it just to your camera roll drop it to somebody, mail it to somebody, save it, and then we transfer it, or you can put it into a into a into files or a shared album. A shared album. I'm just going to click off, so we don't want to keep it. You can save it, so then you can go if you want to go back and finish more. You can just press save, save as. So we're just going to do. Um, we're just going to call it um, possession. We're just going to call it possession. Um, let's just do done. Okay, we're going to press save, like that. Simple. The only thing is, is in order to uh, share uh, the sessions, you have to pay for a yearly subscription to Tactical Pad, which is just, I think it was £23.49, which is very cheap for full year for everything what you can use it for in terms of designing your sessions. You can create a great log of your session plans as well to go back to in the future. You can do great tactical analysis on it as well, which we will look into, into doing a tactical video for Tactical Pad. I think it's definitely worth your time getting. We've had a lot of questions about how to use it. Hope this helps. If you have got any more questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching this week's video. For more content, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links will be in the description below. If you have any more questions regarding Tactical Pad, feel free to ask me on any of the social media platforms. And for more content, make sure you've liked and subscribed and stay tuned for Session Sunday and Two Minute Tactics.